So hello, Mara. Thank you for joining us and being willing to share your insight with the Sustainable Procurement Pledge community. Please introduce thank yourself. You. Yes, thank you for having me, Oliver. Uh, yeah, my name is Mara Milanesi. I worked um, in sustainability for quite a number of years, um, seeing it from different points of view, from industry initiative to supply chain transparency, consultancy and, and, and brands. So on different sectors, luxury, lifestyle, fashion, packaging, plastic, electronics, so a, a little bit of a wider way. And today I am part of the Lego uh, sustainable sustainability department, working on the procurement transformation uh, via our uh, procurement task forces, um, sustainable procurement task force, sorry, and leading the responsible sourcing program uh, in the Americas, but also for the uh, global, global packaging category. Excellent, excellent. And what does sustainable procurement mean to you? Yeah, so it means, um, when I think about it, it really means two things to me. One is synergy. Um, so developing sustainable procurement is for me a fundamental step in, in the sustainability journey of an uh, organization. And uh, it has an incredible amount of potential to spark and really drive change uh, in all connected functions. So I see it as a, a real ecosystem from, from risk to finance to supplier uh, quality, relations, operations, demand planning. So once you start really building the synergies and move away from, say, duplicating the work that others are already doing in an organization, that's where sustainability really gets embedded uh, and, and becomes a way of working, where all, slides, all sides are part of the story of value creation rather than a, you know, a, a just a position of, of functions and tasks. Absolutely. And the second, um, and the second word for me that really represents sustainable procurement is partnership. So working with suppliers and as, as partners, investing in, in building relationships with them, um, concrete activities, tools, um, and, and really creating value for them to succeed as businesses with you rather than for you, I would say. Excellent, excellent. And I think the role of procurement to mm. become more embedded and, and working with other functions is critical. Uh, and yeah. the challenge of supplier engagement is uh, certainly our, our challenge of the month. So what would be two or three pieces of advice that you would give to your peers on how to create those effective supplier engagement programs or, or projects? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, there is a, of course, this is a very wide topic, but uh, I would say three pieces, three tips, I would say that I, that I uh, gather in my practice is, first of all, um, procurement engagement and training needs to be really uh, a priority. So per category, per region, or country, um, it's really key to supplier engagement because um, it really allows to, um, to understand opportunities, timeframes, pinch points, not only from the supplier point of view, but also from procurement as an organization. There might be things that a sustainable procurement person or a sustainability person doesn't necessarily know. Um, and this has really the benefit of uh, speaking with one voice with suppliers, um, and really improve the impact of, say, a sustainability department's guidance or activities and clarify quantitative, quality expectations and really set, set the stage for, for a supplier to act in. The second piece, I would say, um, really working with the suppliers at the foundation of their business. So clarifying, uh, when, when talking about sustainability, clarifying the why, the what, the how and the when really simple and structured, but also improving, really focusing on improving the management system of a supplier, how things connect to, again, quality, to commercial KPIs, and really, you know, creating scorecards uh, in my practice was a, was a really uh, stepping stone to, uh, to, you know, to, to understand uh, not only performance, but creating the business case and also making it easier for procurement to control um, the performance of a supplier, understanding opportunities. And um, the third point I would say, um, giving suppliers space to share amongst themselves is something also that I see, I've seen working really well, especially when dealing with uh, regional suppliers, SMEs, um, you know, factories, let's say, or facilities that don't belong to, to huge groups. They really, um, you know, want to hear the message uh, from, from different perspectives and especially building, helping suppliers building a case and, and share case studies from themselves, from their own practice. Really, um, I, I see, I, I feel that it works really well to, for empowerment, but also for other suppliers to really think that it's possible. If someone did it, 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 this is the investment, this is the commitment, this is the tools, and this is the results, and how they could sell it to their own management, you know, would solve a lot of 
um, a lot of uh, engagement problems and really foster a community of suppliers that makes value grow, in my opinion. Excellent. Mara, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Oliver.